Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on various telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof of the small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. The dragons exist. The stories about dragons are literally everywhere, they exist in every single culture out there. Not only that, but you see them all the time in movies, shows, cartoon, and the list goes on and on. Yet there is no evidence to find about them anywhere. I've looked everywhere to find anything about dragons, all I could find was that there was a dragon skeleton that was allegedly found in China that was around 60 meters long, it's unknown if it's a real or fake. I also found out that there was a dragon skeleton discovered in Iceland that was frozen, and allegedly its features were preserved, and it's said that the government took the dragon and put it in a museum hidden from the public, they also fact-checked it. You can also see some structures that have dragon statues, and the Tartarian Empire had a dragon flag on it. If they're fake, why the obsession about them? What do you guys think, are dragons real? Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Plato in the Timaeus dialogue says that God created the world from ether. Lucretius Carus in the poem On the Nature of Things mentions that the ether feeds the constellations, that is, the luminaries consist of condensed ether. A somewhat more detailed picture is given in the writings of Aristotle. He also believed that the wandering stars and other celestial bodies consist of ether, or quintessence, which is the fifth element of nature, and, unlike the rest, fire, water, air and earth, eternal and unchanging. Aristotle wrote, the sun does not consist of fire, it is a huge accumulation of ether, the heat of the sun is caused by its action on the ether during its revolution around the earth. Ether also fills the entire extraterrestrial cosmos, starting from the sphere of the moon. Catalina Giants one of the skeletons from Glidden's photo collection had six fingers. This is very interesting, because many of these giants that once roamed the earth were said to have six fingers. Also a second row of teeth seemed to be common among giant skeletons found, but not all. Many ancient statues and paintings all over the world have six fingers, and it is hard to believe that the archaeologists have not noticed. So why have they not told the public about this remarkable fact? What do you think? Radium was used for heat, no need for wood fires, oil or electricity. No bills, no nothing. They hide radium, not because there's a lot of great free energy like uses. The thing is, that the radium has a green color to it, but in the images, it shows a yellow glow to it. So I wonder, if they knew a way to change its color. All these headers were powered by radium. No need for oil, electricity, wood fires or anything else. No need for bills or any other charges. If radium... No one would have used it for heat and other uses.
Will we ever know the real age of the Great Pyramid? It is generally believed that the pyramid was completed in 2540 BC. However, some scientists question this theory because of the inventory still found at Giza. The text carved on it says the Khufu did not order to build but only to restore the Sphinx. In addition, modern research shows that the furrows on its body are the traces of precipitation and this level was the last time in this place 8,000 years ago. So how old is the Great Pyramid then, if the Sphinx is considered a later structure than the pyramids themselves? There is no answer. In what is now Algeria, are the vast ruins of the ancient Roman city of Timgad. According to the off version, the Emperor Trojan in the 1st century founded Timgad for the veterans of the Parthian campaign, the war between Rome and Parthia. And then the first question to connoisseurs is, where is Mesopotamia, and where is Algeria? Why not leave the veterans in the conquered territories? The second question, purely domestic as we like to do, who built it in the foothills of the Atlas Mountains, if it is even now a sparsely populated territory with hundreds of kilometers between small towns. And back then? And where did the supplies come from? The Roman Empire never had any problems with land, so why build in a remote place that was hard to reach, hard to supply, and hard to control? Siberian Megalis Everyone knows Stonehenge, but no one knows that researchers are finding megaliths all over the world. In the harsh Siberian regions were found not just freestanding boulders, but real stone cities. Huge buildings are assembled from different sized Lego pieces. Ancient masonry similar to that used by the ancient Egyptians in the construction of the pyramids. While everything is clear with the Arabian cones, in the case of the Siberian stone cities, there are more questions than answers. Why did ancient people need such huge stone walls? From whom were they defending themselves? How could they pull on themselves heavy boulders? Finding the answers would take too much time. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.